Bhagavad Gita Texts 1.17-18 The paramount Arja, the king of Kaji, the great warrior Shikandi, Trishtadyumna, Virata, the invincible Sadyaki, Drubata, and the sons of Draupadi, together with the mighty armed son of Subhadra, all blew their own conch shells, O earthly lord. Dhritarashtra is at best an earthly king, but Krishna and Arjuna ride a celestial chariot given by the fire god Agni. As their conch shells are divine, so too are they. It is well known that when Krishna went to the gates of hell to retrieve his guru's son, he blew his mighty conch and stopped all the suffering therein. The Skanda Purana, Avantikanda, describes some of the details of this event thus. The hell, known as Asipatra Vana, lost the sharp, sword-like leaves on its trees, and the hell, named Rorava, became free of its ruru, beasts. The Bhairava hell lost its fearfulness, and all cooking of people stopped in the Kubipaka hell. Their sinful reactions eradicated, all the inhabitants of hell attained liberation and entered the spiritual world. Krishna's conch shell heralds victory for the pious Pandavas. It sounds terrifies the heart of Duryodhana, whereas the Pandavas remain undisturbed after hearing the conscience of Bhishma and his army. Pure hearts know no fear. Even the conch shells of the Pandavas are feared in battle, not to speak of the Pandavas themselves.